geese are an important member of the animal kingdom, but not necessarily a welcome addition to your lawn, sports field, or parking lot. The main problem is what you can see all around us, which is the droppings. That's the big complaint. Elliot Oren is the owner and operator of Patriot Goose Control. It can contain all kinds of nasty bacteria, E. coli, salmonella, things that you really don't want on your grass and in your water especially. The company employs an equal ratio of humans to border collies to patrol properties including golf courses, school campuses, and office parks to encourage geese to fly and stay away. When the dog is on site, they see the dog as a predator, like a coyote or a wolf. So it makes them stay away for longer periods of time. They really genuinely feel threatened instead of just annoyed. You can see how she's stalking with her head down. To be successful, this process has to be repeated over and over again. We try to mix up the time so that the geese never really get comfortable. When we first start at a property, we'll be there multiple times a day for the first few days or weeks and really hit it hard. Elliot maintains that there's no substitution for sporadic dog drop-ins. Using sound cannons or pyrotechnics or flying mylar balloons or coyote decoys, those things are all just a nuisance to the geese. The canines are trained as puppies to herd sheep and transition to other animals once they reach adulthood. Our training doesn't really involve using treats or anything like that. This breed is really, really focused on work and that's really what they want to do. The praise is their reward. <laughs> so you tell her, good girl, good girl, good job and give her a lot of pets. This is their reward. The Border Collies live with their handlers, which forms a strong bond between the partners who work together all year round. We have a lot of non-migratory resident geese here in eastern Massachusetts, so the geese were born here, they have no idea where Canada is. Even in the winter when there's deep snow on the ground, there still are geese around. Elliot says providing this unique service, getting rid of gaggles, is gratifying work. I love it. I wouldn't want to do anything else. I hope I can do it for the rest of my career. <laughs> Good girl. The adage, necessity is the mother of invention, applies to all innovations, even when the need is as simple as not giving up hot coffee. As a documentary filmmaker, one of my real important tools is my smile because a big part of the job is getting people to relax on camera. Alice Stone wanted her smile to really shine, but when her dentist suggested she switch to sipping iced coffee through a straw, she balked. When you drink through a straw, it prevents staining your teeth. And at the time, I just said, Man, I can't wake up in the morning to the smell of iced coffee. Like, not a solution for me. The search for a solution she could swallow sent Alice on a two-year-long journey to find a way to drink hot liquid with a straw. When you drink from the top of a cup, you're drinking from the surface that is cooled by contact with room temperature air. So I thought if I could just get a little bit of room temperature air inside the straw, then I'd be able to have the convenience of a straw with a hot drink. So she got to work, experimenting with one prototype, then another, First plastic, moving on to glass, and finally, food grade stainless steel. This is the final design that is the Sipify. And the way it works is there are these precision laser drilled tiny little micro holes in the stainless steel. And then the silicone cover that goes over it has these little air shafts. So as you're sipping, there's a little bit of air that enters. It pops through those holes and inside the straw right before it hits your mouth. The device was born out of somewhat of a vanity project, but has had an unintended but much appreciated benefit. Because it's made for a gentle hot sip, it's less volume than a regular straw. And so people who have any sort of swallowing issues, the Sipify has proven to be incredibly valuable. Alice says this includes people with Parkinson's disease, head and neck cancers, and other medical conditions that make swallowing difficult. I accidentally invented something that's really beneficial to a lot of people.
And commuters will like to know that straw fits into most travel mugs, so you're good to go. Yeah, and Alice says that the straw can also reduce stains caused by bumps while driving or mm. on public transportation because it's not hitting you and bouncing up and down <laughs> over you your go. shirt and pants. <laughs> up next, letting no food go to waste.